Everyone has a childhood sweetheart, someone they've never forgotten, a lost love, the one that got away. As a psychologist, I'm fascinated by the idea of first love and the unresolved emotions that it often leaves. Where are they now? How's their life turned out? And do they ever give you a second thought? What would you do if you were given the opportunity to take on a 72-hour challenge? Hi, I'm Phil Cogan, and this is No Opportunity Wasted. We've called in professional psychologist John Aitken. He'll get them into the right headspace to deal with their big challenge. Hi, I'm John Aitken, and welcome to Fighting Fat. Last week, five brave New Zealanders took up the challenge, stepped into the ring, and signed up for five months of battling the bulge. We've given each of them a different diet, and as program psychologists, I'll keep an eye on them every step of the way as they fight the fat. Welcome, John. How are you? I'm well, Jackie. Good to see you. Now, your book, your new book, U-Turn, putting the U back into um, the relationship, what's the main message? Well, the main message really is for those people who tend to give themselves up in relationships, uh, to look out for the symptoms, the signs of those, and then uh, start doing strategies to break free of that so that you get a better relationship. On the outside, Cheryl's place is picture perfect, at least in terms of location. However, when Ryan moves off the beach, he's going to need to focus on what's absent in the house and why. Well, Dave's focus on business and pleasure have worked well for him on an individual basis. However, I get the feeling this focus excludes others. For Gina, her drive is more based around a group or family. But this could be a match, because he needs to think outside himself, while she needs to focus more on her own individuality. Now off to the fifth. Well, nobody's perfect, but picky people forget that. Are you a picky perfectionist when it comes to love? Psychologist John Aiken can help you mend your ways. Welcome back, John. Good to be here as Picky always. Picky perfectionists. Yeah, well, we see, perfectionists are typically people that analyse everything. Uh, and they're very aware of the consequences around them. You know, the fallout, uh, what could happen if they do particular things. They're very risk aversive. And so what it means is that in relationships, they're always thinking about the big picture. What's going to happen and way down the track? Mm -hmm. For the next five months, these five people are going to follow five different diets. First up, the controversial Atkins diet, where the aim is more protein, less carbohydrate. And the old faithful Weight Watchers, losing weight by counting points. A food supplement plan, where a healthy diet is combined with protein shakes. There's a gym-based program with lots of exercise and a balanced diet. And finally, a celebrity favourite a diet where what you can eat is determined by your blood type.